What's going on guys? Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a few baseball drills that you can do to get better at home. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So if your mom is anything like my mom, she never really appreciated when I would actually swing a real baseball bat in her house or in her living room. I could break a TV, something like that. But I'm all about bringing you drills that you can do anywhere, whether it's your living room, you know, your bedroom, your garage, your backyard, whatever, because I realize, I've been there before, I realize if you want to get better, sometimes you have to get better at home. You can't always make it out to the field, right? Some days it's going to be a rainy day. Some days you just, you know, can't find anybody to go to the field with. Uh, and so this first drill, it's a hitting drill and we're not using a real baseball bat. So my mom would be happy about this one. I know your parents will appreciate it as well. What you need for this one is a towel. This is the modified fence drill using a towel. So you've probably all done the fence drill where, you know, you hold a baseball bat, you put the knob in your belly button and you get about this distance away from the fence. And then what you do is you take swings or you hit off of a tee and the whole goal is to make sure everything stays in tight to your body. Make sure you stay connected connected, right? That's where we're powerful. We're not powerful and we're casting out here like this and away from our body. But we can do the exact same drill using just a regular wall in our house or in our bedroom and it's not going to hurt anything because we have the towel. So what you're going to do, stretch out the towel, go until the towel touches the, the wall or the fence and your belly button. So about that distance there. And then from there, all we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on our lead hand, our lead arm. So for a right-handed hitter, you're actually gonna hold the towel in your bottom hand, your left hand. From there, I'm just gonna get into my hitting position here and all I'm gonna focus on is going to my load, my stride and taking swings and I wanna make sure I don't hit the fence with that towel. If I get away from my body and I start casting out here, Guess what's gonna happen? Oh, I'm gonna make contact with the fence or the wall. But if I keep everything connected and keep everything tight, boom, just like that, it's gonna work a lot better. One thing I want you to focus on, make sure that your hand is like this. Palm up, palm down at the point of contact. Don't let your wrist roll over this way. We're not snapping it like this. That wouldn't be a good hitting position. Make sure we're palm up, palm down. Here's another great at-home drill I like to do. This is another hitting drill. All you need is a baseball or a tennis ball, but this one's called solo toss. Barry Bonds once said that if you can catch a baseball, then you can hit a baseball. Really, the baseball bat is just an extension of your hands. So we're gonna apply that to this drill. All you're gonna do, I'm a right-handed hitter, so I'm gonna hold the ball in my left hand. And again, if you're inside, please use a softer ball or a tennis ball. We don't want baseballs flying around breaking things, right? But if you're outside, you can use a real baseball. All I'm going to do is I'm going to act like basically I'm holding a fungo and I'm throwing up the ball and then I'm going to hit it to an infielder, right? But what we're going to do with my left hand, I'm going to toss the ball up. And with my right hand, I'm going to come through explosively and I'm going to catch the baseball and focus on getting into a good contact position. Make sure that you're hitting against a firm front side. Make sure that your head is between your feet, all that good stuff. This arm has this good L shape here. So we're really enforcing solid mechanics, uh, but we're not actually even hitting anything off of a tee or soft toss or anything like that. The great thing about this is you can hit middle pitches. So for a middle pitch, I would make contact pretty much even with my front foot here. So here's a middle pitch, boom, just like that. You can also throw the ball a little bit inside and further up here and turn more like it's an inside pitch, or you can throw it a little bit further outside and back and do it out here like it's an outside pitch. So let me demonstrate a, a inside pitch here, boom. And an outside pitch, boom. So I'm working on my contact points. You can also do off-speed pitches and fastballs. So let's say fastball would be boom, 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 boom. Off-speed pitches, I just throw the ball a little bit higher and I'm forced to oop, wait a split second and then catch it. Now let's do a little infield work. So as I talk about a lot on this channel and as you hopefully know, when you feel the ground ball hit right at you, your footwork, you should present your glove and your footwork should be right left, okay? Then we field the ball on slightly our glove side. So for a right-handed thrower, it's gonna be slightly on your left side, okay? So right, left, field. And then once we field it and funnel it into our body, 
Then it's right, left, and get into our throwing position going towards first base. So that's what we're gonna work on. You don't even need a ball for this. I'd recommend wearing your glove, but you can do this, you know, in between innings, in a commercial break when you're watching big league games on TV, right? That'd be a great time to do it. You can do it, you know, five minutes in the morning before school, five minutes before bed, something like that. But all we're gonna do, we're gonna present our glove. We're just gonna work on right, left catch, right, left throwing position. You can start slow until you get the hang of it and gradually work faster. Present our glove, get it out there early. Right, left catch, right, left throwing position. This is gonna help enforce solid fielding mechanics. Now, doesn't it always seem like outfielders are always left out? All the drills are for the infielders. Seems that way, right? Well, you're in luck because today's video, we're covering outfield too. These are a couple things all outfielders can do right in the comfort of your own home. So the first one is going to actually be catch to throwing position. All we're gonna do, if you're inside, use a softer ball like a tennis ball. All we're gonna do is we're gonna toss the ball up to ourselves. We're gonna act like it's a fly ball hit to us, that we're behind, right? We wanna be behind it, settle underneath it, have our glove up, and we actually wanna work through the ball as we make the catch and get into our throwing position. That's what we're gonna work on. So I'm behind the baseball right now, my glove's in the air, I'm gonna throw the ball up, I'm gonna catch it and I'm gonna get to my throwing position. One thing you wanna make sure, after you catch the ball, so I catch the ball here, make sure everything is tight to my body as I go into my crow hop or my step behind, right? We don't wanna catch the ball and have everything be away from us like, like this, like you see here, because I don't have control here. You're gonna be more accurate and you're gonna be a better outfielder if you catch it and bring it close to your body, but just work on that. You can throw different heights, obviously. You can go slow like I am right now, or speed it up, make it more game-like. But again, working on getting behind the ball, throwing it up, and then working through it, getting to our throwing position. And then progressing from that drill, we can actually work into our footwork and fielding a ground ball and then working into our throwing position. So you can do this on ground balls hit right at you. You can act like you're taking an angle and cutting a ball off and do your spins, whatever. You don't need a ball for this. I'd recommend wearing your glove, but all you're gonna do, get down like you're fielding a ground ball, right? On uh, to the left of my left foot for right-handed thrower, I'm fielding the ground ball and then work on boom, my eyes are down, I'm watching the ball and then I'm coming through either with a crow hop or a step behind, getting into that good solid throwing position. So you don't need very much space. You can do this in your garage, your driveway, whatever, a great drill. Again, you can do it while you're watching TV at commercial breaks, whatever, but just get down here, boom, I'll do the step behind this time. I feel the ground ball, step behind to my throwing position. Another great drill that I love for infielders, it's gonna help you develop soft hands, is wall ball. You can throw a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball off your garage, as long as you get your parents' permission first or off of a hard brick wall. Just find any sort of wall, you can do it standing up. You can also isolate different parts of your body by going down on both knees and really just working on your receiving skills. But I promise you, that's gonna help you out. A great drill that you can do practically anywhere. The last drill, and this is probably gonna be the least popular one because nobody likes to work on it, but base running. If you are into stealing bases, if you wanna steal more bases, I recommend you work on properly taking a lead. So I know you're not gonna have probably real bases. You might have throw down bases or something like that, but I'm just gonna use a glove. So I'm gonna put the glove on the ground here and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on taking my lead. So I'm gonna act like, boom, I just got a hit, give some knucks to the first base coach, I'm getting my sign, and, and then I'm ready, whether it's a steal, whether there's nothing on, then I'm ready to take my lead. Take your lead off of the back corner of the base because when you dive back, it makes it for a longer tag for the first baseman. So I'm, I'm on the back corner of the base right now, the glove, and the way that I always like to do it is right, left, because I can always get back if he picks over there, okay? Right, left, then I'm turning in, okay? And then from there, then I can take one, two, maybe some smaller steps, half, a quarter, whatever, and then I'm out to a good distance. But again, I'll show you the footwork one more time. This is important to work on because it doesn't just happen naturally in games until you get the hang of it. So I like to go right, left, boom, boom, boom. And you'll notice, I see a lot of players 
shuffle out like this, don't do that because they can pick over. We want everything to be slow and in controlled. So when I go right, left, turn, I'm gonna pause for a brief second, collect my thoughts. If he picks, boom, I'm back. And then boom, boom. Don't bring your feet all the way together like this because I can't move that way. Bring it, okay, right, left, right, left, right, left. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I have a Bat Speed Boosters free workout that I wanna share with you. All you have to do to grab this free Bat Speed workout, just click on that very first link below this video in the description. That'll take you to a page. I'm just gonna need your email address and then I'll grant you access to the Bat Speed Boosters workout. So go ahead and click that link and do that now. Go pick up your free Bat Speed Boosters workout. And as always, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're coming out with new baseball videos every single week. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. And last thing, get in the comments section and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos on the channel. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.